You got me? You got me? You got me? Hey, what's up, guys? We uh, are at the Deer Creek Golf Club, Overland Park, Kansas. I'm about to do a presentation to present my nonprofit, which is the Disabled But Not Really Foundation, to a group of different uh, founders and investors. Just hopefully, I will gain some people that really want to help me fulfill my mission in changing the lives of people with disabilities all around. Well, I realized that what I have with disabled and I really comes from passion and drive and it's me doing it. Well that means there's no days off for what I believe in. What you guys have might be passion, but it's a job. So you were off for New Year's Eve. You see what I mean? Like so you wasn't looking at people really pushing out. You thinking everybody got jobs and they're off New Year's Eve. Instead, you got me that's I believe in this, so New Year's Eve, I'm pushing it out like it gotta happen. You know? And we got over 100 votes in one day. That's the difference between me and them. And it's always gonna be like that when it comes to disabled, but not really. It's because this is what I believe in. It's not a job. Now, if I employ people, I don't have, I wouldn't look at them as really having the same drive as me because this, but it's never gonna change in me. So I wouldn't bring nobody to the table that don't have it. Okay, um, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. Um, Wesley Hamilton's gonna be our first presenter. Uh, Wesley has a really cool story, um, a perfect behind his uh, mission. Um, I think that's really important. So I'll get you set up here. Awesome. I'm gonna start off. When I first got disabled, but not really. <laughs> um, I realized that it wasn't a lot of people that helped me. And the reason why I sunk into depression was because for 24 years of my life, I looked at people with disabilities like there was something wrong with them. And that was just kind of how it was instilled into my mind. Well, now I believe that if we can help people with disabilities instill a physical limitless mindset, then we can teach them how to become unstoppable despite their physical limitations, mental or emotional. We need you. We need you to help bring out the awareness. If you, have, if you know life coaches, therapists, um, trainers, anyone that will help us fulfill our mission, you know, we need you to let them know about this disabled but not really so that they can help others kind of have that level of confidence that I do. And also, like, together we can inspire, you know, together we can bring hope. Together we can encourage someone with a disability, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, to do a little bit more. So, disabled but not really, thanks you. Oh man, thank you for having me. Well, no, this is awesome. So. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm excited, you know. You, uh, I think you've got a great mission to go. All this is like driven from passion. You know, like I always tell people, you know, I don't have I don't have to have a dime to go inspire somebody to do more. You know what I mean? And so like that's where it that's why I keep pushing it. Because it's not it's not something where I feel that I have to be paid for it. You know what I mean? Like, as long as what I'm doing on the other way is kind of taking care of home, I don't care as long as I'm impacting other people to do more than they did yesterday. And, and that's, that's, that's what drives me. So that's why, I like, it might not be, you know, like, in the last couple months, funds been kind of coming in more than it has in a year. And it's like, okay, I see the impact. And sometimes people gotta see your effort in coming into the community and what you're really trying to do before they start to invest, so. I would love to talk about being on your board. Love it, love it. I mean, I love what you're all about. I think it's great. Awesome, well thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, well, nice to meet you and we will talk soon. Absolutely. All right, all right, thank you. I learned the truth about my strength on my knees as I knelt. Am I the man God envisioned as he molded myself? I learned the truth about my strength on my knees as I knelt. Through the grief with no peace, sleepless nights on my knees, broken dreams and defeat. I saw my Myself is me. It took wounds, it took scars, it took a broken heart to reveal who I am. The journey showed it all. I'm more than a conqueror, gifted and smarter. Touched by the one I call my holy father. I am. 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 I am